I'm Natish Bassono, and if you step outside tomorrow afternoon for a brief period, it'll look a lot like, well, this. That's because we're going to witness a rare solar eclipse. If you want to watch it, you'll want to find a good vantage point, kind of like where I'm standing right now. You might also want to take a picture, but be careful. You want to protect your eyes and your camera. Renan Caverhill is a photography teacher who has experience snapping astronomical events, but he says nothing compares to what we'll witness Monday afternoon. If you're in Toronto between 1.10 and 3.49, you'll get to see 70% of the sun covered by the moon, a dark shadow with a small visible crescent. And if you want to capture that moment, Caverhill has some tips. If you want to snap some pics with your cell phone, this is definitely the way to do it. Take the safety glasses, tape it right over the, right over the lens of the camera, yeah. and uh, the only thing you'll be able to see is the sun on the screen. Just make sure you're not staring at the sun when you're photographing it. Sort of use the phone to block it or uh, sort of look away while you're photographing it. Yeah. And if you're a photography buff, you might want to listen up. You can get away with a neutral or polarized filter, but a solar filter is preferred. Also, please don't use long lens and exposure. There was a guy who had a really long lens, like a 400 millimeter lens, maybe 600. It's essentially like a telescope. So the sun would be very big on the sensor of the camera. Uh, he opened the shutter for six seconds and it started to melt the camera sensor. So full sun, six second exposure, melted camera. Wow. Completely destroyed. Of course, the best places to witness a total solar eclipse is in the United States, between Oregon and South Carolina. That's where professional photographer Ryan Jackson is with this. So this is a high resolution 360 video rig. So it's actually, uh, it's actually seven, there's seven cameras in a circle there. Um, and so tomorrow I'm shooting the eclipse for the Montreal Planetarium. And my job is to capture all the people that are gonna be watching the eclipse. So instead of zooming in to the, to the, to the sun like everyone else, I'm actually trying to get a really wide, big photo of the thousands of people who are all gonna be wearing the glasses and looking up at the sky. He's going to be in Salem, Oregon, and he'll be capturing the eclipse for the Montreal Planetarium. For him, the biggest challenge is timing. I just quickly change seven cameras really, really quick, and then hit record, record, record seven times uh, in less than two minutes, because the eclipse is only going to last for two minutes. So it's going to be pretty stressful when it happens, but uh, my, I will feel so relieved when it's done. Back in Toronto, Brendan Caverhill isn't too worried about the landscape or location. For him, it's about enjoying this unique experience. I have a feeling it's going to be really uh, eerie and the, the light will change. And I've heard from people who have experienced eclipses that it's just a, a surreal event. So the most important thing will probably be to take it in and really enjoy it, really be there. Make sure you take some time to put the camera down and sort of experience with your friends a, a really interesting and rare celestial event. Of course, there are several places where you can catch the solar eclipse. The astronomy team from the University of Toronto will be at the CNE ready to go with their telescopes. And if you're like myself and you can't make it there, not to worry. All you have to do is whip out your solar glasses and you should be good to go.